Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been thinking of like, why not just do weekly vlogs? Because I don't really feel like my days are that interesting, but the things I do in about a week are pretty cool. And this week is pretty eventful. So I said, hey, let's start a new weekly vlog um, of just my life. <laughs> so if you don't know me, hi, my name is Vanessa, Vanessa Aganobi. I am a professional marketing person in the beauty industry. <laughs> Um, I work for a top beauty retailer, um, and this week I'm actually off, <laughs> so I mean, my life's gonna be a little bit more fun. Wednesday, I'll be going snowboarding or skiing or whatever the heck. <laughs> I know there's a difference, but you know I don't really do this type of stuff, so we're gonna see when we get there. I'm gonna be celebrating my my friend's birthday. She'll be turning 23, like me, I think. <laughs> 23 or 22? Um, I should know that. <laughs> I think 23 though because we're always about the same age and um, yeah we're gonna be going snowboarding so that would be fun and then yeah and then we have New Year's so I don't know I'm doing New Year's we'll find out <laughs> so yeah just stay tuned um, I am pretty excited so right now I'm just doing my makeup to get ready for the day the next day I'm on my way to get my booster shots Woo! I'm just I'm not looking for I just don't like shots you know what I mean and sorry for my edges. I didn't do Miss Miles in the rush. <laughs> I'm at CVS to get my booster. I hate shots, so oh, let's go do it. Gotta get her done. Alright, we're good. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't even do anything yet. <laughs> I need to relax. Alright, little touch. Good? Yeah, that was easy. I know. Okay. Alright, we're done. I hope that I was. Hey y'all! Welcome! I just got my booster. Oh, my shirt is covering my sticker. Booster. The lady was so good at giving shots. Like, I literally didn't even feel it. And, like, I don't know. It, it felt better than my first two. And I'm really happy about that. <laughs> because I'm usually always so afraid to get shots. I hate shots. And this one was really great. So, um, today, I have a couple more things planned. I'm going to just vet to y'all, right? I have terrible FOMO. Like, terrible FOMO. Um, I have a hard time saying no to things because I am a big extrovert. I love hanging out with my family and I love hanging out with my friends and I'm super adventurous and I love to do shit. So, because <laughs> most times those are the limitations you have, right? I don't have kids. So I'm always in this mentality of I'm not in school, you know, I have the time, just do it. If you want to have some fun, just do it. The thing is today, I had to... Um, drop off my cousins and i had to go get my booster shots i had to go pick up my contacts right now i'm about to eat i literally haven't eaten all day so now i'm eating christmas food <laughs> like we have this jollof rice and meats stewed meat so that's what i'm eating and i'm eating some nothing bunt cake lemon so that's gonna be my breakfast brunch and lunch and it's almost five, so I guess early dinner. I want to start eating, you know, on the clock. Because I also have body goals this year. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'll see y'all later while I eat. And we're going to just see how the rest of the day goes. Because I don't know yet. The next day. Oh, shit. Am I going to run? I'm in here, real hair, nappy <laughs> hair, and I'm like, listen, I'm you're getting every the real me, all right? Please. Um, okay, at least you said you can come in. But hey, y'all, um, it is like what Wednesday, so day three. Mm -hmm. Um, and today we're going snowboarding. This is my friend Tierra. We went to middle, middle school, school and, and high school, school yeah. and we cheered together, middle school and high yeah. school. Um, so yeah. Uh, she's here. She went to ECU and now she's working corporate at Rise. So she's at B. She lives in New York now. <laughs> Excuse her. You know, like she's the bougie one and I'm, I'm at the crib. <laughs> I'm still uh, at the crib in New York though. <laughs> <laughs> but she's in New York. <laughs> um, but yeah, so right now we are um, 
Are those her family? Because I know they have one. No. Okay. But we were at my other friend's house, Aaliyah. She, um, we're celebrating her birthday. And we're going snowboarding, skiing. I made a decision today. I'm going skiing since I've never done it. I've never because done it. Because they say it's easier. So I'm like. Yeah. I, I want to just do snowboarding just for the picture. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm still back and forth. So we'll see. But every time I talk about my boyfriend and even Aliyah's much, she's like, just do skiing. I'm like, I don't know. So we'll see. I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's a lot. Just like having to work with both instead of just like one flat, you know? But they said you get sticks with skiing. You don't get sticks yeah, with snowboarding. You get sticks. So I'm like, how the hell am I stop? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm excited. I like doing things I've never done before. Um, pray for us. Yeah, pray for us. <laughs> It'll be fun, though. Yeah. And, yeah, so sorry I didn't show you again ready. I was literally late. And, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I should put on makeup or not. I'm not. I don't think so, because, like, we're going to be sweating. Like, I just. Yeah. I'm going to put my contacts in, though. Okay. Because I don't want to wear um, my glasses. Yeah, my contacts are in. Well, that's what makes sense. But yeah. But yeah, see y'all later. Let's walk in and see say what's up to my friend Aliyah. Alrighty. Bye. That's cute. But now we're in the car. And then here's Christmas. Say hi, have that my the girl. Hi. Hi Liz. Here's a lot cookies that my grandma made. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to open it? Sure. <laughs> okay. That's oh that's all of our assortment of cookies. Oh yeah. Love, 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 love. Hello. I love them. But yeah, now we're on the way to Boone, Boone Appalachian State. I'm not. 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 I'm not
explain me. What's up? Her falls are so dramatic. She, up. she goes like this. Oh! <laughs> I feel helpless. It's like somebody saved me. Dad told me to duck when I got off. Really? Yeah. Because I had some when I fell off, he was like, you'll duck. Oh no. Y'all, I had so much fun. I'm looking out because I want to record my friends and they come down. But I think this is one of the most fun things I've ever done. I've learned that I'm someone who really enjoys doing activities and stuff. And like, at first it was super hard. I busted my ass <laughs> more than anyone. But now I feel like I'm really... <laughs> Someone just hurt. <laughs> Someone just got hurt. <laughs> you have, I saw people running to each other and... Um, yeah, it's been interesting, but it's been a lot of fun. And honestly, thank God for this random man, old man, who just saw me struggling. I couldn't even get up. Like, it's so hard to get up like and this man he was just helping me taught me how to stop taught me how to slow down taught me how to go faster you know different things i just had to use everything in like 15 minutes right and then after that i was a pro <laughs> all you need is a little friendly civilian help and it changed everything for me so i'm really glad that i went it was a bunch of fun and if you have the opportunity to go skiing i recommend watching a youtube video how to do it <laughs> Grab someone to teach you at least for like five, 10 minutes. After that, you've got it, but you're gonna fall a couple times. Like the learning part is hard, but like the doing part is like so fun. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my friends to come down in a minute, but I'll see y'all later. Oh. Show me your rip. My rip? Rip. rip. <laughs> you ripped your pants on the rock. <laughs> so, fun time, fun time. That was her gift from nature. How you guys know, just went to the mountains. That was so much fun, yo. Like, I think that's one of the most fun I've ever had in like a super long time. Um, I think I already said this, but it was just a great time. It was a great time seeing my friends like those friends like i went to high school with but i literally just got home took a shower hopped up I'm like let's go <laughs> literally got back at four and i'm back in here i'm about to go out with another friend um that i just met actually she is cameroonian i went to this um young nigerians in charlotte event and because my mom she forced me to <laughs> And I was like, I'm not mad at it because like, I wanted to meet more people my age, um, people that, that have a similar background as me. Like, I think you can never go wrong. And like, I, I love meeting people, so I was down. And I had a great time there. So in the midst of that, I made a new friend and she was really cool. Like, I feel like there's sometimes some people in this life that you meet that instantly your energies connect. And like, her and I like, we hit it off. And it was like, oh, like, she's cool. Like, this is dope. Like, I love being friends with her, you know what I mean? I will see y'all. Um, I might show us, but like, maybe not because I'm just me. I don't want to freak her out. <laughs> and, but I might show like a little montage of like Frankie's and Charlotte, but it feels like an arcade place, but we'll see. I'll see you later. Um, but today is New Year's Eve. It's about like, I think eight-ish or about to be eight. Yeah, I am getting ready for New Year's and I don't really have any expectations. I am just, I have a sparkly shirt. I'm gonna stay on this day. I have a sparkly shirt, these black leather pants. If you can see the bottom, they low-key look kind of high water-ish. So I'm not really liking that. 
and I have like these, oop, I have these boots. They're like white and like black platform. I thought I was gonna love them with this fit, but I really don't like it as much as this fit, so I need to figure out what other shoes I'm gonna wear. Um, but yeah, I just, but that's the fit right now. It's gonna change though. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup and I'll show you guys my outfit and then we'll just have New Year's and we'll celebrate New Year's together. Yo, I'm just not getting ready. <laughs> I swear I do the same hairstyle every single day. I look in here like, switch up my look i need my flat iron and i always do these curled wands look and i just do it because i feel like it's faster than flat ironing my hair i don't know why that was my last curl but i want to show y'all the last addition i made to my outfit because i was feeling it but i wasn't like really really feeling it like i don't have any jewelry because i don't really wear silver jewelry so i don't have any silver jewelry but I got a necklace but i got one thing click from my mama's room added this bell like this circle-ish bell and I feel like it's really giving what it's supposed to give it's kind of like it might make it look a little bit weird but I don't know I'm into it I'm kind of actually into it so I love the belt too much is on that side just put them just kind of make it look a little bit more uniform so she's ready <laughs> Bye, y'all. Seven, six, get you on the light. Four, one, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! So, hey, y'all. Um, happy New Year! By the time you guys are seeing this, it should be um, 2022. Right now, I just got home from the gathering and I am feeling very. I feel kind of different. I don't know why. Like, and this is separate from me even going to the event, it has nothing really to do with with the event I think um but I don't know I'm getting this inkling that something in 2022 is like gonna change like like a weird change um but also it's a new year change is inevitable I remember this time last year I was I think the most depressed I've been in years um for a lot of different reasons and I am super super grateful of where I'm at and it's literally a full 360 and even better and more than like what I could have imagined um but it's been a great year I think 2021 was really full like if I could sum up 2021 I felt a lot of fullness and wholeness like a lot a lot of love, um, a lot of, just a lot of abundance in so many different ways, and God's really, really blessed me. This year, my only goal is just to do better. <laughs> like, I feel like I really achieved a lot this year, and I'm really proud about, and it's like once you get to a point where you know you're very comfortable you're very happy you're satisfied it's i'm one content but i'm young so i feel like this is the time to strive as big and as hard and as far and as grand as i possibly can can achieve so my only goal next year is just to maximize everything to the fullest capacity that i can um with all the wisdom that i have and to continuously seek more wisdom I've really oddly been enjoying reading books and learning from different people who are better and more experienced than me to like learn tips and different things. And that's all I want to be filled with this year is just wisdom and strategic movements um, and just love. Uh, I'm also learning that life is it can't be calculated, you know, like I'm someone who really likes to plan and I'm, I have a very type A brain. And I like things very structured. But I'm also realizing like 
parts of the beauty of life are the unknown, the gray. You know, I I like to think of things as very black and white. Like if it's not this, it's that. But life is very, very fucking gray. <laughs> like it's not always what you think it is. And you can try your best to understand something or, you know, make sense of it in yourself. But literally life is just gray. And it's all about perception. Um, and I think all I can do is like move with just right intentions and to be pure. I just really want to be pure and present in everything that I do in all aspects of my life in love, in my career, in myself. I really want to do a lot of self work. Like I just want to, yeah, I just want to do better. Everything better than what I did this year. This year was fucking great. No, that shit is mad. When I tell you, I literally was recording for five minutes and this shit was not even recording. I was getting deep. And I was really in the moment and I was flowing. Maybe I just wasn't supposed to share that. I'm going to take that as a sign from God. <laughs> um, But what I will say, now that I know that I'm actually recording, this year has been amazing. I look forward to next year. I look forward to growth. I look forward to getting stronger. I look forward to continuing to know myself. And um, I just look forward to abundance. Abundance of love. Abundance of life. Abundance of career, finances, um, my passions. I just really want to maximize everything and just push myself to reach my fullest potential. Looking forward to New Year. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great New Year. Happy New Year again. Um, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to tell me um, one thing you're really looking forward to this year that you're going to make happen because you're going to do this damn thing. So happy new year, everyone. Hope you have a great day and a great start to the year. Bye.